and you're staying back to watch the trailer, right? Okay. Good morning. We're currently staying at Green River Campground in Dinosaur Monument. And this morning we're going over to the visitor center to check everything out. We're taking a shuttle to go see dinosaur bones. <laughs> Up to the dinosaur quarry. Right, right. This is part of the exhibit here at Dinosaur Monument, so we're going to go check it out. We're taking you with us. You can see behind me, they've revealed all these bones. These are actual dinosaur bones, and this is the actual soil that they were discovered in. What they did is they uncovered them to the point that they're visible, but they left them in place and built the building around them so that people can come here and see what this was like. This is probably one of the largest dinosaur bone collections that ever discovered. Um, there's more of it all around here. It was discovered in uh, the early 1900s and a lot of the dinosaur skeletons that you see today in museums came from here. Um, they excavated and removed a number of skeletons but in the 50s they decided that to stop removing skeletons and to preserve the site as much as they could. This is just a very small section of the dinosaur site. It goes on and on into the hill here behind us. Now how did all the dinosaur bones get here? There, at one time this was a, a, a wetlands and the dinosaurs lived here. Then a drought came through and a lot of the dinosaurs died. Died right here. Then the, they had a flash flood and all the bones were moved and ended up being deposited in this area. So it's kind of interesting about how all this came together. Now this part of the wall, the bones aren't as exposed, and this would be more of how they found some the area. Down here you can see this really is, nothing's really exposed, but maybe just a little bit. Then they start to excavate a little bit more, and then a little bit more as they get down and see more bones, and continue along this whole wall. They've excavated back farther and farther. According to the plaque here, it's estimated that over 500 dinosaur skeletons have been found in this area. That's just astounding. Plus there were some other smaller animals, but mostly the small animals 
were destroyed by the water flow. Really just the larger animal survive, the larger animal bones survive or skeletons survive. This map behind me shows some of the complete skeletons that were excavated from this quarry and what museums they were moved to. So very likely if you've seen a dinosaur skeleton in a museum, it came from here. So what was your thoughts? I thought that was really, it was really interesting. Um, yeah, it was really interesting. I don't think we've ever seen anything like it. Yeah, I mean, I think we've seen dinosaur bones in museums, but to, doubt, to really see them still in the ground from right. where they're discovered, right. that was kind of cool. Yeah, it was. We're taking a drive through the uh, park and this is the Split Mountain Spur off the main road and I think this behind me is Split Mountain, that section right there. And uh, this goes down to another campground area and it looks like where they launch river boats. This is Turtle Rock. I thought that was kind of neat. The road through the park is turned into a dirt road, and we're in this section where there's petroglyphs. And so we're going to take a walk over here. We're right here, so we're going to take a walk over and check them out. This is a Josie Bennett Morris homestead. Now Josie Bennett Morris lived here from the age of 40 until her death at 90. She, this is way off grid, no electricity, no plumbing. She literally lived off the land in this home. And at that time when she moved out here, she was divorced and her children were grown. Now she did have family in the area that would come out and visit, but she um, irrigated the land grew her own vegetables and food, had her own animals, and that's how she lived. So you talk about people today who want to get off grid, it's nothing new. She was doing this 
back in, gosh, let's see, it would have been uh, 1914 when she moved out here. And she lived here for 50 years until 1964. So, if you think boondocking is rough, try this. The Green River Campground, surprisingly enough, is right on the Green River. If I turn the camera around this way back, you're going to see there's an amphitheater right here where they have ranger talks during the night. And this is the Green River. This it flows all the way down into the Colorado at Canyonlands. And this is a very high flowing river, especially this time of year. This is springtime. They've had a good um, winter snow melt that's running off. But it is also managed. They're up the river a bit. There is a dam and reservoir and they manage the river flow. Now we're heading there next, so we're gonna get an idea to see how full that reservoir is, but I'm guessing it's probably pretty full. They warn you about this, to don't swim in this river. I actually wouldn't even kayak. This river is probably moving to 15 to 20 miles per hour. It is moving fast. It doesn't look like it. They said there's a lot of undercurrent in here, and there's a lot of rocks that you're not gonna see if you went in the river and were taken down it. So you gotta be very careful here. But it is a pretty cool river. They do uh, have river rafting on this river. They seem to do it up a little farther where there's some rapids and they take out just above the campground here. So one of the other scenic things here at Dinosaur Campground or Dinosaur National Monument and Green River Campground. This is the only water supply here at the campground. There is a spigot about every restroom. Um, they ask you not to attach water hoses to it. So you need to come here with a full water tank for your stay and bring maybe some water jugs or something that you can refill here. One thing you're going to notice here is there's no hookups. And that's because Green River is a totally dry camping. You do not have electricity, you do not have water, and there's not a dump station. So when you come to Green River, make sure that your fresh water tank is full, your waste tanks are empty, and have some type of you know electrical backup like solar or, or whatever you use. We found that this worked very well. The other thing that we were really surprised when we were here is the cell service is great if you have AT&T. If you have Verizon it's zero but AT&T we were able to stream with so you know even though we didn't have the hookups we still were comfortable. Well, we're ready to leave Green River Campground. In Dinosaur National Monument. And what did you think of Dinosaur National Monument? I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, we've never been to this, excuse me, this area of Utah. And uh, yeah, it was, it was very interesting, very educational. And uh, it's a pretty place. Yeah, I mean, this park isn't too big. Um, so you can get around it and view it all. But it was nice to stay here. The campground was nice. It's all boondocking, and it's only $18 a night, plus your admission to the park itself. And uh, But if you've got a National Parks Pass, then that covers the admission to the parks, and it reduces your camping to $9 a night, which is oh. really reasonable. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, it was really cheap. Yeah, yeah. It was a good way to save a couple bucks this, this trip. Yeah. So we'll be on our way. We have one more, two more campgrounds. Yeah, we're only a week away from the, essentially the, I don't want to say it's the destination, but it's the, the, the point of this trip. Right. You know, right. we've still got a lot to go and see on the way back that we haven't been so, to before. So it's not the end, it's just what our ultimate... The turning point. Yeah, our ultimate goal in this trip was. Yeah. So, so let's right. get on our way. All right, let's get going. Okay. Oh, so guys, if you like this video, what should they do? Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you follow along. So, until next time, we will see everyone down the road. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Daisies blooming. Sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me. And I hope. You never decide to set me free